A bubble is formed when the air trapped inside the fluid tries to escape. The air is surrounded by a thin protective layer that resists pressure from everywhere. There is a lot of pressure against resistance. What prevents the bubble from bursting is the strong molecular attraction in the surface. They hug each other so desperately in an attempt to return to their original state. At the time when they were all of the same substance. That's why it gives a feeling of protection to what is inside, even if it is transitory, like fate. Some bubbles don't even exist until they pop. They are not imaginary. They are just denied. Meantime, they are inflated faster than the speculation of their own existence. It is fascinating and attractive for smaller bubbles. However, when the big bubble bursts, what is left behind collapses on its own periphery. And these little bubbles need to reorganize and support each other if they are to stay a little longer. They will eventually collapse it too. Some bubbles are made to see everything, however distorted the details of the periphery may be. It still insists on seeing everything, to share with someone anywhere. But it cannot be compared to the senses involved in being present. When the bubble is released, it Come gracefully back. navigates the invisible sea of free molecules that surround it. And we forget for a moment how ephemeral, insubstantial, and fragile they are. Why do they continue if resistance is useless? I think it's because what is inside is something so precious and exclusive that it is worth enjoying every second of its existence. And all this is just another distorted reflection of reality. <laughs>